everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an unbelievable uh, Sunday, uh, winding down your weekend, preparing for what you're going to do next week. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the office uh, following up, doing some work. Uh, I try not to do as much in the office as I used to before everything went the way it went last year with my health. Uh, but sometimes you've got to do what you got to do. And trust me, I'm monitoring it uh, and I'm managing it, but I had to get in and do something. I wanted to talk real briefly about something that just happened so people know what's going on. On yesterday, I believe it was, or let me see if it, I'm actually looking at the mark and I don't see what day it was posted. But I think I posted it yesterday. Uh, the video basically titled Ricky Smiley Morning Show Misinforming Listeners on the Pandemic. And a lot of people are chiming in on other videos and comments because they, they noticed it was taken down. Yes, I've received a warning uh, from YouTube uh, because I stated some facts that they aren't agreeing with because it doesn't align with the World Health Organization's position on uh, certain facts on COVID and pretty much Anthony Fauci, despite the fact that all of the things that I quoted came from actual data that has been compiled. Uh, I have been given a warning and told that uh, continued violations will result in my channel being removed. Uh, so from this point on, I will not be talking specifically about COVID on this platform. Um, I don't control it. Uh, this platform at this particular point in time is a primary means of me moving uh, content and doing some other things that I'm doing. And so unfortunately, I can't talk about it here because I'm not going to uh, tone down or change my position. So that means if I'm going to speak truth, it's going to cost me the channel. Um, then I'm going to have to do it in a place where I'm allowed to speak the truth. And there are going to be a couple of platforms where you can find information. Uh, the easiest one to reach is our official website, website at, at Odyssey Project at the Odyssey Project 21.tlp. Also, uh, we have a podcast and I will be um, putting information on the podcast. As a matter of fact, the audio from the video taken down will be on that podcast uh, for you guys to check out, and I'll get that to you uh, ASAP. It should be uh, in the description box of this video by the time you see it, actually. You can check out the podcast. You can check it out on Spotify, or you can check it out on Anchor, or you can check it out on our site, Be The Change, uh, which is the name of the podcast. Um, but what it does point to is the fact that when you don't own something, uh, you get caught up in situations like this where you get pushed against a wall and you have to make decisions. And then I make decisions every day because there are a lot of things that I could say that I know, OK, if you do this, uh, that's what's going to happen. And so you, you, you maneuver around them uh, without compromising your truth. My thing is, if I can't talk about it truthfully, I won't talk about it at all. So we'll have to move our conversations concerning the pandemic to another platform. Um, I am currently working with Neota and a couple of other people uh, to try to hammer out exactly how that's going to look long term because we need a video platform. The problem that we're having right now with the video platform thing is it requires so much bandwidth and server power uh, to do it at a level that you're seeing it done on YouTube. Uh, and so we're working on that. We've been working on that on a while. Uh, I'm waiting on her to respond to me now because I had some other hot content I wanted to put up. Uh, but we definitely can't do that now. So I've got to find a way to move that around. And I will. And I'll get you uh, a way you can get to it. Uh, we're just going to have to be more aware of what's going on and actually listen and move. And when I tell you something somewhere else, actually go look at it and read it uh, and watch it. Um, and we'll stick to the things that we know we can talk about on here. Uh, and it's interesting. We can go at each other and pretty much tear each other down, destroy each other, and no problem. Um, and um, I'm going to speak on it on a platform where I can actually speak how I want to speak. 
uh, because the more I sit here and dance around it, the more pissed off I become. Uh, but again, when you don't own it, this is what happens. This is why ownership is so important. This is why we uh, push so hard for you guys to support the work we do. Because, yes, it's great for you to show up here and get what you're getting and interact with us and all that's, all that's great, but it's not ours. So we are limited to what we can do, what we can say, what we can post based off of those who do own the platform. And their interests are very rarely aligned with our interests, and we have to understand that. It's their platform. And while I don't like it and I want to push back, it's their platform. And so what it tells me is now it's time for me to really, truly focus on building my own. And so that's what I'm going to focus on. Um, I'm going to get back with you a little later on today and talk with you about some other things uh, that are equally prevalent uh, that we need to discuss um, and like I said, if you want to see the work that I'm doing, I have just recently started to post uh, the data that I've been compiling and research I've been doing and work I've been doing. And the person that I've worked with most uh, often has received pressure from the White House. I'm going to tell you how deep this goes, has received pressure from the White House about what they're doing. They've actually been put in the number one position of the 10 most uh, dangerous people as far as misinformation about COVID. Uh, and I can tell you, I've been using this guy for years to help my clients and my, my clients on my fitness, uh, um, through my fitness company to obtain health, uh, through osteopathic, homeopathic, and naturopathic means. Uh, I have spent the last year and a half educating myself on virology, immunology, um, and beyond what I've already known, you got to understand, I sit as the dean of the School of the Ministry of Health and Wellness at Array of Hope Theological Sem Seminary, an accredited university. So, you know, it's not like I'm just I hear some person talking, but, you know, that wasn't my area of expertise. So I decided to make it my area of expertise so over the next two or three years. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, not all I'm going to do, but a great deal of my energy and effort is going to be in mastering and understanding it. That's just how I move. You know, I think that people have to know. And if I can be a, a inst an instrument in doing that, I'm going to do that. But in, in working with uh, Dr. Mercola, it's been real interesting uh, to see how people move and how people fight. And it's not about who's right. It's about who has the power. Uh, I learned this a while ago, and I'm being reminded of it now uh, with how I'm handled on this platform. Um, and it's it's not about who's right. It's about who has the power. Who has the power writes the narrative, whether the narrative is accurate or true or not. And what we have to do is we have to be willing to create a platform of power so that, so that we can oppose that which, which we don't believe in, which doesn't serve our interests, and which we believe to be inaccurate and untrue. That's our responsibility. Uh, not to sit up and whine about what they're doing, not to sit up and uh, acquiesce to it and then turn. A lot of people are jumping on it because just like those who won't uh, comply to the pressure or acquiesce to the pressure are being punished. Those who jump on the bandwagon and say, I'll spew that, I'll say that, I'll do that are being rewarded. You know, a bunch of our people are being rewarded for telling us things uh, and convincing us to do things. Not a new concept. It's been happening for a while. But we're just seeing it unfold in what's going on now and what is current. Um, like I said, uh, I'm going to do what I can to comply with um, the guidelines while I'm on this platform. My goal is to build something that we can operate on solely and completely owned by us so that no one is pulling us down. And I just want to say, with the amount of people that Google has right now, they didn't detect that because I screened that. That went through every screening process, and it was fully monetized, meaning that it passed through all of Google's, uh, I'm saying Google because Google owns YouTube, all of YouTube's filters. And... It was up and it was fine. That means somebody from the show, Ricky Smiley, or somebody that's on that line saw it and reported it. And then they pulled it. 
Um, it you know it is what it is. But I just wanted for the people who were asking what happened to it, it was pulled down for violation of community guidelines, which states that you can't uh, present in your post or in your videos anything that contradicts what the World Health Organization has presented or those who are considered to be the experts. Uh, and obviously, YouTube is determining who the experts are. Uh, because many experts have spoken in, in, in uh, with facts that are diametrically opposed to what is being presented in the mainstream narratives, but those experts are not being given the same uh, validity as those that uh, support the current narrative. And so the violation of the guidelines is you're not allowed to say anything in op opposition to those uh, current narratives. And so since I can't speak truth to power, I'm not going to speak on it at all. So we'll have to take our conversations on this particular topic to another platform. It's how you play the game. It's life. Uh, until you get absolute power, you, you have to sit up and realize that you're going to get pushed sometimes in a way that you can't get pushed back. Um, you know, and... Uh, I've taken a couple of hits because I refused to back down in the past and still recovering from them. Um, so I've learned that while I'm fighting for my people, I've got to play smart uh, because at the end of the day, it's just me looking out for me and my family. Uh, and on that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out here. Don't forget, support the work we do. Look, I have no problem with people coming and taking of, downloading. I put Creative Commons on all of my videos so they are accessible. You can share them, you can take them down, you can give them to who you want to. There's no penalty of copyright infringement on any of it because I want it out there. And you have to understand that why many times I may talk in layman's terms, you have to understand that I've developed years and years and years of expertise in what I talk about. I'm not talking about for the fun of it. I do hours upon hours of research to be able to talk about things on an, on a level uh, that is representative of the time and energy and effort I spent into obtaining the knowledge to understand it so that we can present it for the, for, for the purpose of creating solutions. It's never about just talking about something because I want to say I know about it. It's never about talking about it because I want to whine and complain about it. It's always because I want to do something that presents an opportunity to create solutions. Black Man Lead is the solution to uh, African-American, adolescent, and young adult male violence. Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters is a solution to dealing with the lingering trauma of childhood sexual abuse and domestic violence. Um, and we can go on and on with the stuff that we're doing in, in, in the program. And so when I am talking about uh, working with you guys, I'm bringing you real heat because I spent time. Those 24 books pushing on 20, it'll be 25 before the end of the year. 24 books are, are my heart and I'm pouring out and I'm giving you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of information for $32 or $30 or $27, whatever the book costs. And, you know, if the book sales all of a sudden sprout up and just go crazy, I mean, I've done decent, but that's not going to support my family. But that's not why I did it. I did it because it needed to be out there. But need, I needed to put what I had in my heart and my mind in places that it'll be there if something happens to me. And so what I'm saying to you now is we need your support. Yet more than ever, we got to do this thing. We got to take this thing. It's not, I'm telling you, it's not, to a real man, it's nothing like somebody pulling your stuff and manhandling you. And you know you're right. It's nothing like that. It's nothing like saying, wow. And, and then knowing from, from experience that, you, you, you're not going to get what you want out of this situation. You know, I'm not the only one to have lost my channel or have been threatened to lose my channel or whatever. Uh, I'm not the only one. I've had people, man, and some of them is going to force filing lawsuits trying to get their channels back. And we have to simply have our own. Um, 
We have to simply have our own. Use the platform for what it is because it's a powerful mechanism for revenue generation. It's a powerful mechanism for networking because of its natural draw and connectivity. The advertising is built in. It has its it has its benefits, but it's not going to be our primary mode of really moving uh, highly Afrocentric idea ideologies. Uh, I'll put it that way. That's not going to be how we're going to do it. Because that's not going to serve the, the purpose or the interest of the powers that be. And so look into the description box. Click the link and show some love. Also, look for the links to other places where you can find the information that you will no longer be able to see on here. On that note, I'm going to get off of here. And you guys have an unbelievable day. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.